I can't believe your bag came undone again. Yeah, like imagine this is gonna be my fourth bag change in less than 24 hours. Paul, how do you feel that your bag has come undone again? Difficult night. Why, why I'm awake so early. <laughs> Being a caregiver does an, it is a job that does not end. It's 24-7. Paul just called me, told me to head to the hospital because I it's so early in the morning. I'm brain farting so badly. His bag is leaking. Like he, he's just struggling really badly. And in the previous vlog, Paul was definitely getting very discouraged. He's just getting frustrated to a lot of bag changes, you know, and then the nurses are low on supplies because we had a nurse tell us, one of Paul's nurses tells us, there's another patient on the floor who also has a colostomy. And he changes his bag every time there's poop in it. So once he goes to the bathroom he changes out his bag that that that's a lot of supplies to go through so imagine one bag is for every three four days yeah no one bag for him is only an hour or so because of that patient the supplies on the hospital floor are very like they're they're non-existent many times the nurses have to go run around see if they can find something to use on paul a lot is going on paul's bag is leaking paul's uncomfortable he's getting discouraged very little supplies very low staff medical staff nurses i mean it's the whole shebang guys do not forget to check out zalia's baby gift registry like, what am I talking about? Her one year birthday's coming up, and I can't wait to share that with you guys. So many things are gonna happen, and we can't wait to take you along for the ride. Paul's excited because imagine by the time her birthday comes around, which is in August, he should be back on his feet. The doctors say like around July is when Paul should be hopefully getting back to his norm so we still have a few months out because imagine it's april right now so uh it's a long time and it also depends on paul if he does wants to, if he wants to do the reconnection as well that will take place in like october so it's like this is a year of just back to back surgeries well definitely check out baby sushi's gift registry she's turning one and we couldn't be any happier i'm just happy that i can continue celebrating sushi's journey with paul even though things have been a little bit difficult medically wise i won't lie guys it breaks my heart that the first year of sushi's life we've been really focusing on paul's health and getting him back on track so it's it's been a challenge and there's been things i wanted to record have you guys be a part of but i had to prioritize paul's health over anything over the recording so i'm pretty sure the doctors are going to send paul home today you know paul is advocating like hey i still have issues i i, I don't feel comfortable leaving who knows, one of his, well, it's not his doctor, but one of the doctors that are filling in for his original doctor is very, being very adamant of just letting Paul go home. He's like, you're good, you're good. 
Why are you still here? You should be going home. I'm okay, it's not bad. I'm gonna be honest, guys, I'm so exhausted. I, I, I would love for Paul to be home. But this isn't about, oof, this isn't about me and what I want. It's about Paul and his health, so let's see. We'll figure it out. And I have to go to the hospital because his bag is leaking once again. So the nurse or ostomy nurse will be going there. And I need to be there as much as possible when the ostomy nurse is there because I need to know how to change his bag. Thankfully, my mom has been there watching, you know, recording herself. So if she needs to jump in to change Paul's bag, she's there. So guys, let us head out. So much is happening. I'm just exhausted because this is like the fourth, fifth day of going through this. But hopefully, it sounds crazy. I want Paul to be home. I just, because doing all this is a lot. Waking up early in the morning, leaving the hospital late, but leaving the hospital to take care of baby Sushi. Like, I wake up maybe at like six in the morning and my day doesn't end until like 11 at night. I I'm exhausted. <laughs> God, I'm crying. Really exhausted. Also, say so, guys. Let's go. Let's let's come along for the ride. I came undone again. So this will probably be your fourth bag change or so? Yeah. Okay, we just gotta find the right yeah, fit for you. Yeah, I know. Once we'll get there, we'll be fine. Yeah, we just gotta find the right fit and then you should be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, of course. Once the swelling is not exactly healthy. Probably not. No. Just because I don't want you to go through the challenge changing this bag two more times. Mm -hmm. um, keep it there for now. I'm just going to reinforce it with tape. That's fine. I understand. And then Candace will do all her tricks to make this stay on. Yeah. Paul, how do you feel that your bag has come undone again? Pissed. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get you all squared away and hey, bandaged up. Don't get me wrong, I know this is not like an uncommon thing. I'm swollen and after surgery, they just have to find the right bag for me. It's just a little frustrating because I have to like imagine this is going to be my fourth bag change in less than 24 hours. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, it's kind of tender and sore after surgery. Yeah. Even the nurse was like, you did really well for how soon after surgery. You're getting all taped up, look at that. <laughs> Looks like you got a battle wound scar. <laughs> but Candace did say that you were first, okay? That's fine, no worries. We're gonna love her, she's my favorite. Perfect, Perfect. thank you. Well. Thank you once again. You're welcome, call me if anything, okay? Will do. Bye. To the garage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. She's like, okay, yeah, you know, we'll 
you know, they she did like a better system, this, that, the other, no big deal, perfect. And later that night, um, later that night, or yesterday night, um, I started noticing that it started leaking out of the side. And I called my nurse, The they were like, okay, yeah, we, we definitely need to change it because it's gonna start irritating your skin. Mm -hmm. um, changed it, perfect, no big deal. This morning around like 6 a.m., I started feeling, I felt like something like pop, like as if like the seal like lifted up. Uh -huh. And I was like, mm, I didn't pay much mind to it, I was kind of still like half asleep. And then I started feeling itchy and itchy, I was like, it, it's, it's, leaking. it's leaking. So I called, I told my nurse, she came in and uh, they literally changed all of it. And then just right now I felt the same thing. And then I looked and she just like reinforced it right now. Yeah, was it with some tape. This, side? this is where it was coming out of right now. Has it been the same side that it's been no, leaking so or it's kind of all it was over? here and then this morning both of them were here. All right. So there's not much supplies in here. Alrighty, so of course the ostomy nurse has officially arrived. Paul's her first patient because she's heard of his struggles today. Yeah, I had, we had a later appointment. But, yeah, yeah, our appointment was at 1 and this appointment's at 11 right now. So thank goodness I got here and I'm here to absorb and learn as much as I can. She did leave. She checked out Paul and she's going to get him like a cute little ostomy care package. So how exciting. So... Let us get educated and we'll update you guys afterwards. A little bit. Look at the doma. Okay. So I'm measuring it, just trying to see. It's not very big, stoma. That of a size? Wow. It's only really an inch. Okay, so. Really? Yes, 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 I know. Clean my lens, I know. Oh, it tells you to clean your lens? Yeah, if it's if it senses that it's dirty. Oh no, wow. Right? Mine doesn't, doesn't even do that. My pictures just come out smudgy. Seriously? Sorry. That is so cool. Oh, he has like the latest of the latest. Yeah, like they're still like, doing commercials about this phone. That's like my husband. Mm -hmm. He's got the latest. He has to wait in line oh, to get it. This is a birthday gift. Yeah. Oh. So it's like the new Samsung Ultra. So guys, I am now on my way downstairs. Paul is set. We are waiting to see how he does not this time around with his bag to see if, you know, he has an explosion again. But um, I'm going downstairs to get me some food. I'm tired. I need to eat. I just pumped, so I'm pretty low on energy. And we will see what happens here. We need to see if this method uh, is going to work for him. And if it does, it's great. I recorded it. I made sure. Like, I have it nailed packed because, of course, Paul is just fresh out of surgery. He's not going to be changing his bag anytime soon. I will be doing everything for him until he feels good and ready. I'm getting on the elevator now. Now, what I do love about this hospital is that they're very encouraging on recording. They're like, yeah, record us. You need to learn. You need to know how to do all this, which is fabulous. So I'm getting a lot of good angles, a lot of good clips. So in the future, me and Paul can watch back and see our progress. Like these are what these vlogs are for. We love it. All right, so I'm back in the room and I got me Toshi. So now me and Pa are gonna take a chill, watch some TV, and once again, just watch his bag and hopefully it doesn't explode all over him again. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be real with you guys. I was not able to finish this vlog. <laughs> so I'm like here editing it and I'm just like, oh my God, I never did an outro. I never updated, I never. So let me do a quick update. Looking pretty, my hair looks decent, my makeup. I wanted to feel pretty. Being a mom can be hard sometimes. So I feel like some days I just need to take a moment, you know, do a light makeup. And I was just- it's the war paint paul's here recovering of course you guys saw paul walking around doing great it's time for him to go home pretty much the doctor is just like all right hey wifey do you feel comfortable doing his bag i was like yeah if i have to if i'm forced I i'll make it work all right paul you're good to go home paul wasn't that comfortable going home just yet since he was still leaking but we made do with what we could and 
thankfully that was the last time his bag leaked guys sometimes it's not that easy to continue recording because i have to be a caretaker first before sometimes these vlogs so he got discharged i had to pack up all his stuff get him dressed and ready to go take all the stuff in the car come back get his discharge papers make sure he was properly discharged make sure he had all the medications that he needed from there go back to the car get in the car come pick him up at the entrance because of course they're gonna bring him down and then from there have to drive as smooth as possible because every bump practically killed him yeah we got home and now he is here recovering as you guys just heard him so that's been our roller coaster this is where we ended we are back home though and paul's recovering wait till our next vlog and you will be able to see him and how everything is going so stay tuned for that because doing all this at home now is a different monster to take on but guys this is where i end it i gotta still take care of paul be a mom but thankfully i was able to take at least 20 minutes for myself and be like glam make yourself feel pretty even though i'm not going anywhere i'm literally just staying here at the house i just wanted to feel pretty that's it and some like cute victoria's secret pajamas like as if i just came out of a magazine hey every mom deserves that why not do what you love so guys for now i do and goodbye to our next adventure.